Hello there. My name is Doron Klepoc and I'm the CEO of FVMAT. FVMAT is an early stage startup company and we design, simulate and optimize the properties of novel metamaterials. We also develop the technology to produce these materials. Let's start with what we do. We came up with a new concept for metamaterials that have extraordinary properties. For example, consider a material that can heal itself in case of damage or can alter its stiffness or electrical conductivity. Heat conductivity, optical characteristics, damping and energy absorption are only a few properties that can be designed to be superior to conventional materials. It is also possible to engineer the properties to vary in a dynamic manner or to be externally controlled. This means that the properties are no longer constant and that we can control how they change and why. Last, we utilize a couple of multi-physical phenomena to our advantage. By externally varying one physical condition, such as temperature, Another physical property, such as stiffness, is altered due to the couple. How do we do it? Here is the basic idea. Consider a body or a part that is being designed. The body is virtually divided into unit cells, which represent its microstructure. In our case, this microstructure is composed of the following, a matrix, which is the surrounding material, a void within the matrix with a shape and size as we want, and a substance. A substance can be almost anything, fluid, gas, particles, powders, etc., or a combination of several substances. The combination of these three building blocks of the unit cell opens up a new playground where we can create material properties never thought of before. These properties can vary spatially because we can change the unit cell as we please. The unit cell can adapt to external conditions and can be externally controlled. This is a breakthrough in the way we see, produce and use materials. Now, how do we do it in terms of the R&D process? Given a need or required properties, we first come up with several general concepts. We compare the different concepts by performing analytical or semi-analytical calculations and pick the best concept or concepts. We then create a computational model and run simulations, making sure basic validity checks are passed. The next step is optimization. We modify the values of the relevant design parameters, an example, matrix material, void size, shape, and substance, and perform a simulation and optimization process until the overall behavior converges to the performance required. Given the optimized parameters, microstructures are constructed. The last stage is production. In order to produce the desired materials, a new 3D printing technology is being developed as conventional 3D printers can not produce these materials. Now I would like to show you one of our first prototypes. This prototype demonstrates a case where properties of a material are altered by external conditions. The cube is constructed of an array of unit cells with cylindrical voids. Magnetic particles are placed within the voids. We apply an external magnetic field 
and the particles and line accordingly. This new metamaterial changes its magnetic properties due to the influence of external conditions. It also changes its mechanical properties in a continuous manner. In the absence of an external magnetic field, the particles have random orientations. Thus, the material is isotropic. With the application of a magnetic field, the particles align, creating an anisotropic material. In this case, the material becomes significantly stiffer in the direction of the field. We can change the orientation of the field and the material will become stiffer in other directions. Now imagine we apply an alternating magnetic field and spin the magnetic particles. This creates a material with microangular momentum. This is similar to having multiple microgyroscopes within the material. The characteristics of such a material are beyond extraordinary. We leave you to envision what can be done with such a You are welcome to contact us and visit our website for more information. Thank you.